I get this question so many times throughout all my social media platforms. So in this video, I will tell you all the tools you need to start a career in carpentry. And at the end, I have a very, very special announcement. So stay tuned. So this video doesn't get too long. I am gonna run through these tools really quick. And I'm gonna bring back the money counter so you know how much you'll be spending on each tool and how much it costs to start your journey in carpentry. Before I do start, I wanna say a massive thank you to Screwfix. I did ask Screwfix if they could provide all of these tools so I can do this video and well, here they are. So Screwfix came through. So thank you Screwfix. And all the prices I'm about to say are Screwfix's prices. So let's get straight into the video. First, we're gonna start with one of the most important tools, a tape measure. Every carpenter and every apprentice should have one. It's used for measuring, marking. You need it on every project. Tape measure. You're also gonna need pencils. These are carpenter's pencils, also known as roofer's pencils. The difference between a carpenter's pencil and a standard pencil is, as you can see, the flat design. And that flat design is to stop it from rolling away on a roof. So as you can imagine, you've got a slow roof, it's not gonna roll away. But if you've got standard pencil, just rolls away. The roofer's pencil is also more durable and it creates broader lines, which are easy to see. The standard pencil is normally for joinery work and door fitting. So that's the difference between the two pencils and you should have both in your toolkit. Stand on the theme of marking, you're gonna need a chalk line. A chalk line is used on floors, ceilings, walls, and it's normally used for long distances and setting out. So with a chalk line, it's literally a line with chalk on. And if you've got a buddy, then you... Actually, let me just show you, let me just show you. So this is my chalk line. So we're gonna do a quick demonstration on how we use a chalk line. Okay, so you hold one end, I'll hold the other end. And if you just wanted a straight line, you wanted to set it to something, you just literally hold it, hold it tight. Is that tight? Yeah. Okay. And then literally, that's it. And that's the line. That's the chalk line. It's a bit curved because he didn't hold it as yeah. straight as possible, but yeah. right. let's, let's do another line, let's do another line. Very, very straight. Yeah, okay. Bring intention on it. Yeah, like that. That's the one, perfect straight line. Yep, and that's how you use the chalk line. A chalk line is usually used to set out stud work and stuff like that. Chalk line. You're also gonna want a combination square and a speed square, also known as a roofer square. The combination square has a ruler at the top and just a base at the bottom. And it's also got a level here. So if you wanna use the level to make anything level, you can do that. It's a 90 degree angle, so you can mark off really fast. It's got different measurements, so you can make fast straight lines. So if I wanna adjust it to, let's say 30 mil, can adjust it to 30 mil and then I can make a perfect straight line by putting my pencil up and scoring a line. With the roofer square, it's a little bit different, but it has got some similarities. Again, it's a 90 degree angle, commonly used on roofs. You can also use it against a circular saw. So if you was to put your square against a piece of timber and have your circular saw, you can run your circular saw down and it'll create a fast straight line. Another good tool to have is a marking gauge. So normally joiners, and if you're doing joints, you use a marking gauge. I normally use it on doors to find the center point of a door and create a mark for the center point. But yeah, a marking gauge is a very, very handy tool to have. You might not use it a lot, but it's very handy to have. You're also gonna need a utility blade. So with these, everyone knows what they are. It's literally utility blade. You use it for, you can use it for marking, opening, and just general stuff. On a first year apprentice, your employer may want you to have a safety one, which literally just retracts by itself. 
and yeah everyone knows what these are so i don't need to go in depth so yeah utility or Stanley Blair. another very important tool a block plan so every employer will probably want you to have a block plan you use it for smoothing off surfaces creating chamfers taking off sharp edges on timber and i would just say it's a very handy tool to have you might not use it every day but it's very good to have it in your toolkit you will use it in your carpentry journey Obviously, we can't forget the saw. So everyone knows what one of these are. If you see a carpenter, you associate with hammers, nails, saws. A lot of people don't use hand saws anymore, but as a first year apprentice, I would say it's very important to master using a hand saw. A lot of people just use circular saws, but saws are also very important to use. Master the saw. This is also a tenon saw, you use it for finer, neater cuts. And this is a coping saw, you normally use it to cut scribes. You can use it for a variety of different mouldings and it's mainly used for cutting scribes. Chisels are another one of them tools that have been replaced. The chisels have been replaced by routers but it's very important to use and master using chisels. I normally use them for doing the locks and latches on doors and you use them for hinges and joints, a lot of joinery work as well. Also, you're gonna need a hammer. Another one of them tools a carpenter can't live without. A hammer is used for a variety of different things. Driving nails, breaking stuff, demolition, fine tuning noggins, stuff like that. And it's just a very, very versatile, handy tool to have. So, you're gonna need a hammer, very important. A nail puller, a nail puller is for obviously pulling nails and it can be used for prying different materials. So yeah, you may not use it every day, but it is a quite important tool to have. You're also gonna need pincers. Pincers are for cutting nails and prying nails. You also need nail punchers. So with nail punchers, it's kind of self-explanatory, the punching nails. So if you've got a nail that's a little bit proud, it's not sticking into the timber enough, you literally just get the nail puncher and then you just tap it in and then that drives the nail further in. So nail punchers. And lastly, a drill set. So you're gonna need a drill set. It's very, very important. Like the hammer, you're probably going to use them every single day. So you probably already know what you're going to be doing with the drill and driver. With the combination drill, you're going to be piloting holes, drilling holes, and you can drive in screws with the combination drill. It's just a versatile. You don't really need to have the impact driver if you've got a combination drill, but it's always good to have both. With the impact driver, it's just going to be driving in screws. You're mainly just going to be using it for driving in screws and it's for more heavy duty stuff so if you're driving screws into joists and stuff like that but both of them very important as a first year apprentice maybe just a combination drill but i would say getting a set i forgot the spirit i also nearly forgot you're also gonna need a spirit level a spirit level set is quite important so here you've got the little boat level um, spirit levels are used for leveling off and making stuff plumb so you know that they're perfectly level and perfectly plumb okay so there's the boat level you're also probably going to need a six foot level you're also going to need a two foot level and a four foot level I would say as a first year apprentice, you could just get away with having a two foot level and the little boat level, because as a first year apprentice, you might not have a vehicle. So it'll be quite a big pain to be going on public transport with the six foot, four foot, two foot and little boat level. So I would say you can get away with just having the little boat level and the two foot level, but it's always good to get a set. But with carpentry, it's the most diverse trade. So you may not need all of these, or you may need to add stuff on. It really depends what aspect of carpentry you're doing. So if you're doing flooring, you may need a rubber mallet. If you're doing a lot of cabinet making, you may not need a chalk line. 
but it really depends what you're doing. If you're doing a lot of metal stud work, you might need tin snips. So it really depends what you're doing in carpentry. But these are the most diverse tools you're gonna need for a lot of different aspects of carpentry. So I would say these are the most kind of important tools. So yeah. And now for the special announcement. So with it coming up to Christmas and me nearly reaching my goal of 30K subscribers on YouTube and doing decent on all my social medias, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away all these tools, the drill set, the saw, the chisels, the tape measure, everything you need to start your journey in carpentry. But not only that, I'm also gonna be giving the lucky subscriber a chance to come and gain some experience with me and work with me for a couple of days. And that's paid work, by the way. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, be a subscriber and comment entry. That's all you need to do. If you comment entry, you automatically entered in the giveaway and that's literally it. All the information will be linked down below. Another massive thank you to Screwfix for allowing me to do this video and give away all these tools to a lucky subscriber. And if you're looking at this jumper and you're thinking, that is an amazing jumper and it's very comfortable too, you can buy these from Screwfix and all profits from buying this jumper goes to the Screwfix Foundation. The Screwfix Foundation help different charities and non-profit organizations all around the world. So you'll be helping out a good cause and it's screw fix, so you know they're reliable. But yeah, thank you for getting this far and I really appreciate every last one of you. And yeah, thank you, bye, until next week. I also just realized I don't even have a tool bag for the subscriber to carry all the tools in, so I'm gonna go screw fix and buy a tool bag so you can also have a bag to carry all your tools in. So, yeah. I said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 like it or love it, it's double or nothing. You ain't getting money, then you bugging. Them fat, you know I'ma hug it, lows by the truck. Up the budget, cash in the den, damn I'm a bucket OD, you know how it does it If it ain't moolah, we cannot discuss it Her name is Erica, she finna bust it Her name ain't Mega, but yeah, she a stallion The way that we dressin' ran out of Italian New chain bustin', beat the medallion Pour your own troubles out by the gallon Her name ain't Lotta, but she from the south Her name ain't Ruby, she got a big mouth She puttin' it in, she stickin' it out No, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. So don't waste anyone's time <laughs> In this video, I will tell you <laughs> and how much each <laughs> first we're gonna start with the tape measure so with the tape measure it's literally tape measure everyone should know what a tape measure is it's used for measuring <laughs> okay this is a powerful tape measure for a first year apprentice, I would say probably getting a safety one. So your employer probably would want you to have a safe. Also, you're gonna want nail punchers. So with nail punchers, you literally just get the punch. 